Good morning. It is Shay in Silver Lake, Oregon. It is 8 a.m. August 9th. It's 55 degrees and the high today is going to be 91. It was really super smoky yesterday. My son said there's got to be a fire in Lapine because when he was leaving, he said it was so smoky. He kept trying to find, look to see where it was at, but he said it was just so bad. And the pine is 50 miles from Silver Lake, Oregon. Let's see what we've got for balloons today. Or actually, let's see. This is how I am this morning because of the smoke. So I don't know how well that worked. It's just my hand. So, what do we got going on? Lots of darker blooms. Oh, look, this, I swear this one's gotten beefier looking. Got a new one over there. Um, 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 um. What do we got over here? Nothing. I lost another arm off of this. The big one. It was like a really... Uh, it's going to get down to where I, I'm not going to have... I think I'm going to lose that one and this one too. Is what I'm thinking. Do, 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 do. Here, look how many have bloomed out here. Oh, that one looks gorgeous. Beautiful. Ooh, that one's going to be a knockout. Ooh. This one is gorgeous. Inconvenient to film, but pretty. What's up with all the bugs? Like, there's no cows in town. Like, oh, that one's a cutie pie. Um,. Like, when Norma was next door, like, you would have thought that year would have been the year of the flies or something, but it wasn't. It's like, this is the year. Although, I've been seeing a lot of grasshoppers. Not like that one year when we were, like, invaded with grasshoppers. Look how bushy this has gotten. Uh, the ground still looks pretty wet. So it's not like they're in need of water. But over here it looks pretty good too. It's floofing out. Should move that base. It's just a pain. I need to mow again already. <laughs> That's fantastic. Oh. Everything over here looks... This is getting pinker. It blooms pink. Oh, that's a zinnia. So the zinnias come up in August. I need to remember that. Plant in July, come up in August. I need to start writing this stuff down, but look how much that has faded. I guess I'll just spray paint it red. The sign part. Let's just spray paint it red and then cover it with the sealer or something. Ugh. That daisy's got to come out of there. Why did that... What the heck? I do not understand what it is that's out here that's killing mice. I found a dead mouse yesterday, not like this, but just laying in my driveway. I don't have a cat. And cats would not be safe coming in my... Oh my goodness, you cannot even see the mountain. 
It is so nasty out here. Look, there's a bloom right there. I'm like scared to step anywhere. It's already got its first bloom right there. It's still pretty looking. Oh, it's so gross. I do not know what is going on. It's got like body parts everywhere. here though it's just too I don't know that's the only clear one I didn't let Bruce out at all last night oh, these mosquitoes are terrible Not really seeing any other tracks, and it's just that corner right there. Hmm. I don't know. I was hoping back here was was getting um wet because it's really hard and to make sure that my sprinkler makes it to this back corner. And the center part right there, too, I have a tough time. If I sat here and hand-watered, it would take me forever. I used to just hand-water. And I re remember when I hand-watered, everything was ten times more luscious than when I used the sprinkler. I remember that. Much of it, anyway. This corn's looking great. This is doing much better down here in this corner than it was over there. My broccoli. I moved this because I like the idea Hmm. It's just that my neighbor's cat didn't come home for like two days and she said that her cat got attacked and um, but didn't have any open wounds. And then, but now, and like everybody knows that my Bruce is not a friendly dog to other animals. I've tried. He, I had him in a pack. So for a little while, he did really good. But then his pack has slowly passed away. And um, he's the last one. And I, I've tried introducing him, and he will not. He just wants to fight. So... Bruce. Let's see, he's sniffing around. Like he knows something was in the yard. Weird. Weird, 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 weird. So I can't, you know, so I thought maybe, but she says her cat doesn't do that because she came over and she saw the first uh, thing that I found. She said her cat doesn't do that. So I don't think it's that. And I was like, maybe it's a skunk. Because, you know, skunks kill stuff. But I don't know what would do that. Like it's... That's one. Two. This is the fourth one. 
this year. Then one time the year before, I found a dead mouse laying right here. Two, I found two separate dead mice laying right here. But none of them were torn up. I thought I had just, in, like a bird dropped it, and I had just inconveniently came out at the wrong time, and it couldn't come back for it. Or something like that. Now I was thinking that maybe, like, after I found the third one, I thought maybe my neighbor has, like, a uh, mouse poison out. And they're, but then I'm like, what neighbor? <laughs> Nobody lives, I mean, I guess if they put it there, you know, I don't know. It's so confusing. Now I have to clean up that mess before Bruce notices it. I'm out here with him, so like... It's not that big of a deal, but... I mean, he won't mess with it. He's not interested in that. And I don't think it's him that's doing it. He wouldn't do that. He would stomp it. To where it was flat as a pancake. That's what would happen. I know because. I found a dead chicken before. And. That's what he does to him. He stomps on him. And stomps on him. And stomps on him. And stomps, 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 stomps. And he never stops stomping. Like. It's like this weird hop. With, that he does with both feet. He just. Ooh, 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 ooh. Like. It's stupid. But, hmm, ooh, this one's getting ready to bloom. We're back at these ones. We should go to those other ones. Because I did notice yesterday when I was out here how many were blooming out there. Oh, I did notice that. Look at my dill. My dill has gotten so tall. So cute. These are going to be nice. These ones are looking great. That Love Lies Bleeding is doing good too, but usually it's a lot taller. Oh, we'll see. And I've been noticing bees everywhere, so that's good. Not as many as I did. And the California poppies are all done and bloomed. So, I don't get... Um, last year, I had tons of bees. See, they're getting ready to... I need to pull some of these poppies. The California poppies. See, there's a few. I think they got stunted because I can see which ones were supposed to be the mammoths, like these are supposed to be the mammoths. And they're supposed to be like twice this size. And they're not. So I feel like they got stunted. And let's go look at some of this. Bruce is usually down here. What are you doing, Bruce? See, I lost... Two more arms off that sunflower. You know, when you come down here and you look at... That's bachelor buttons. I can't mow quite yet because... Um, yeah, see? These are the seed poppings to California poppies. And when you pop them open... They're full of little tiny seeds. So I'm letting these dry out and pop open. And then I'll mow it over and make it into mulch. Bruce, stop eating the grass. <laughs> and then those are the love lies bleeding. And then see... 
That one's going to be a nice one. I noticed quite a few blooms when I was looking on this side. Which, when I put up that other... I got to buy a few more. Um, and I got to tighten my fence up because my fence is not even tightened. It's just kind of like loosely hanging there. Because... Um, I was trying to do it by myself and I couldn't do it, but whatever. I'll have, like, one of these times I'll have... Oh, I gotta go to a barbecue on Saturday. Um, to my neighbor Miko's. <clears throat> Look at that chunk. I just came out like crazy. And... So our other neighbors, he's having that barbecue... So, going to that. That's tomorrow, I think. Yeah. Eventually, I'll pull all these weeds out, and then they'll never come back because they won't reproduce, maybe. I don't know. But, this is the Love Lies Bleeding. I only have this one color. I did have... A little tiny bit of the dark purple. And um, that I've got, and it has dark, dark leaves. And there's also a peach. I've never seen the peach in person. But I do love these. I think they're gorgeous. They do, they're, it's like a grain. You can make a grain out of them. I just didn't have any direction of what I was going to do with where I was going to plant. I should next year I'm going to do way different of course. Although I do like the corn up here. Maybe I'll do like I don't know. I love the I love how tall the love lies bleeding gets. It's cool. Lots of sunflowers. Oh, 17 minutes. My goodness. Peace, love, and happiness. Wishing you a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful smoke-free day. <coughs> Where you guys don't have sneezing and coughing and blah, 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 blah. I hope you get lots of rest. I hope you make lots of friends. I hope you guys have a good time. And, um... You know, that all is well in the world, at least in your area. And hopefully that they can get these fires put out. And I can figure out what this is. There's no claw marks. But that's a big paw print. Although that could be one of my friends' dogs. But I think... The mouse was over here, and there was a scuffle. And then that's how I ended up with it being ripped open. The head is missing. And it is a tiny mouse. So I don't know what is happening. Well, I'm glad the mice are gone, but my goodness. <clears throat> Anywho, peace, love, and happiness. Have a beautiful day. Thank you for watching. Thank you if you're the person who's sharing and I'm getting all these new subscribers from you being the one that shares because it tells me on there it's always outside sources that um, I don't get very much traffic on youtube unless somebody already knows me on youtube or is already subscribed to me usually it's like repeat subscribers um thank you if it's people who normally watch me oh see there's a random love lies bleeding thank you i appreciate you guys watching me it's i think i killed that beat i'm pretty sure it did but 
I'm going to leave it there like that anyways. Whatever. Whatever's clever. Okay. So, thank you for watching me. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. And, um, looking for my yellow. See, this one's looking pink. Dang it. That means, nope, this one's pink. This one's looking like it's going to be pink. This one's pink, pink. I do not know what color this one is yet. This one is looking pink. I mean, this could be two different bushes, but I doubt it. Pink, pink. Pink, 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 pink. Orange is beautiful. The white looks so much like daisies. I want to pull some of these daisies out because it's like taking away my beautiful showcasing my white. But see, I cut those down just like I did the pink. How I got all this pink is because I cut down like that bush and then I would lay the flowers, you know, for mulch. And then I just pull it when in the spring. I just pull out what I don't want, toss it over the fence, turn, mow it over, turn it all into mulch, and then spread it out there. So the seeds must mostly fall out while they're in this bed. But if that's the case, that's such a weird looking one, then why am I not getting any orange and white intermixed? It's all pink. This year when I cut them all down, all the pink are going out. And then the orange and the white all intermix in here. And possibly yellow if one of these ends up being... I'm pretty sure I planted it over here. I remember... I thought I planted it like right here. Where this one is. That one is pretty. That one's such a healthy, pretty one. Hmm. And then when my trees get big enough, like this one is almost getting big enough. I just found out I needed to get another plum tree. You're supposed to have two of whatever. So, my lonely plum tree. So what I'm going to do is get another plum, I think. See, so look, at there's one two, three. So I think what I'll do is I'll put the plum probably like right here, the other plum, so that you'll like walk in between the two. And then that way, you know, the mess goes half over on that fence, half over on this fence, and then half in my garden. And then I have the mess of all these. But the reason why I got the apple trees and I planted them back here was so that when they did get bigger, when I'm cleaning up the mess, I can toss the apples over and then the deer and stuff will eat instead of them coming to my yard. You know, maybe they'll eat the ones that are, or maybe I'll do like apple barrels where I'll throw them in like these apple buckets and then I'll just set them, you know, out there and then let them eat out of the I don't know what I'll do first of all I have to get an apple I've never had an apple off my apple tree so that first has to happen and with me and fruit <laughs> it's really hard for me not to eat everything so you know I don't know don't know what to tell you I got smart and I put a big old huge robe on and my thick uh, winter uh, pajamas on and the uh, mosquitoes can't get me. I think they're very upset with me over that. Because they're buzzing around me. Yelling about it. So I have one white petunia. And then these are two. So three white petunias. And then these pinkish purple ones over here. And then over here it's just purple. Which is cool. I'm really surprised anything grew. Because it's not a lot of dirt in there. I'm pretty happy with that. So, all right. Peace, love, and happiness. This is getting to be really super long. You guys have a wonderful day. Bye.